don't know what my expectations were of Nightcap actually, like, it's a bit of a stealth mission for me, came in from England, four gigs, four days, go back to England, and uh, so I was like, right, it's better be really good. <laughs> The Dunedin crowd was funny because that's probably the most drunk crowd I've ever seen or played to. Before I even dropped the tune and there was this absolute silence, you know, people were swaying around like there was music on. I thought, well, do I even need to play anything? These guys are so drunk. So that was wicked. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Fresh new single from Nero tonight! Please, Christchurch, show some fucking love! Dropping the new single um, was really good. It's kind of a fresh mix of it, so it's been good to come out here and test it out. And it's had a good response so far. Um, and like the other DJs have come up and said, oh, what was that last tune you played? Which is always nice, and you can say, yeah, that's going to be our new song. Yeah, I'm Pet from State of Mind. We just started uh, taking a little tour of uh, the Auckland streets because... Uh, scenic Auckland. Scenic Auckland. It's uh, too too chaotic out the back of Madcap because it's just too busy, man. Too busy. I give the, in the world, only me, like the driver, give the rolly any customer. Doesn't happen every day. It's good though. See, who Bad. said that people in Auckland aren't nice, yeah? Yeah, I fucking know. Pretty crazy too, I think. Um, big numbers. Uh, good times, the headaches in the morning. Yeah, that's pretty much me. Yeah, headaches in the morning actually. I yeah, was pretty excited when we saw the lineup. There's uh, Adam Freeland, is uh, definitely an artist that we we really rate, uh, and so it was Nero as well. So it was just cool to be a part of the tour, you know? Yeah, man, totally. Yeah, probably one of the most random things that happened was um, getting two girls running their hands up my thighs, walking up the stairs, or walking down the stairs and having them do that, and then walking past and just laughing. I was taking advantage of it. Like they were laughing at you? Or? Oh, no, they weren't <laughs> laughing, they were impressed. They were like, whoa. Tour is really good. Uh, Dunedin was, was, uh, was a trip. Like, really drunk students. <laughs> they were really drunk. They're standing there like, oh. We're kind of really lazy, we don't, um, very good at promoting ourselves, um... We let it speak for itself, <laughs> so it doesn't <laughs> yeah. say very much. Well, it's funny, Angus asked us before, um, <laughs> whether, why we'd ever done an essential mix, and, uh, Jamie, I think so, very correctly said that banging isn't really essential. It's, it's we're non-essential. <laughs> we're optional. optional. <laughs> <laughs> That's our promoting for That's you. our promoting. Bang promoting gang. 101 it's optional. Bang gang. <laughs> <laughs> we need you more than you need us. <laughs> Bang Gang Angus, he's a very funny man. He, he um, he went out a bit late and he came to this morning at 9am and suddenly realised he was in a salon having his hair cut and he's got like long red hair and he has no idea how he got there. Uh, he makes me laugh. Uh, in Dunedin we actually said before the gig, you know, this is night one of four, we're going to take it easy but uh, it's probably oh, didn't the happen. night so far. <laughs> yeah. Seeing, you know, like 1,500 kids going mental to dubstep is such a bizarre concept to me because dubstep parties or you know anything with dubstep or drum and bass in Australia is like 15 dudes in a like, shitty little club going like this to the deck. Whereas you know, <laughs> to see like 18 year old girls chewing their lips off and throwing their hands around to like some fucking screen track is just like so foreign to me. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, this is our first time dealing with Mac app touring, so we didn't really know what to expect, but it's been phenomenal. Way. Can I swear? It's been yeah. fucking awesome.